Hello Vault Dwellers and welcome back to the next episode of our Fallout 4 Casual Let's Play. I'm still here with McCready and we are back over at the BADTFL Regional Offices. When I went out the front door the last time I was thinking, wasn't there a raider trying to break into an office? And I didn't want to take the time to go back in right then and then Nikita kindly pointed out that yes there is a magazine in here that we missed so I am here for the said magazine and I think it should still be yeah it seems like it's still clear I did forget to mention in the last episode that I had found a uh, uh, 10mm with a silencer on it so I switched that off over onto our 10 millimeter that we've been using. Um, I still don't have a silencer for uh, our sniper rifle, but oh, I've been looking to see if I can find one. I think I went the wrong way. We need to go up. Um, is it over in here? Oh, I remember coming. How could I miss the handcuffs and clipboard? It's a screw and a spring and, wow, two screws. Um, let me see here. Yes? Yeah, right here. That's it. So, I just need a uh, silencer for our sniper rifle, but... I plan on going to, uh, there we Excellent. go, very nice, um, my plan for today is actually to go over to Vault 81, because I think it is time for us to pick up the, uh, Overseer's Guardian, and go ahead and do that quest over there. So, I think we should be good to go. We've already been into the uh, evidence room and got everything out of there. So, yeah, we should be definitely good to get out of here. Alright, come on, McCready. We need to go. We got places to be. Alrighty, let me see here. We need to, uh, I think fast travel over to, what's it, Hardware Town? I think is pretty much the closest, uh, yeah. I normally go from Hardware Town, so. Back up, McCready. Well, that was a fine how do you do. <laughs> Where did our gunner go? Oh, no. Alright. I... Uh, really? We're going to be this way today? Alright, well... You're the dead one. Come on, McCready. Let's, uh, do this the smart way instead of trying to... I guess we're taking a detour, guys. Sorry. Apparently, raiders take offense to cars blowing up outside of their apartment buildings, so... We shall... What are you talking about, McCready? You're staring at a wall. What a letdown. Shh, McCready. We're sneaking. As I rattle cans. Ooh. Poor guy. A 
souvenir cup. Hmm. Alright. I think we're good in this room. Oh, I will take that. Alright, come on. Now we can go. Oh, no, you can't. We have an overdue book. Very nice. So, my plan is to get ready, get us ready for, um, okay, get that, um, the Automatron DLC. McCready, please. Uh, so what I would like to do before we do that is, um, uh, I want to put two points in straight into, uh, intelligence, and then, uh, what the? do, uh, Daisy's Quest, where we go, I'm sorry, it's really dark here, guys, um, Daisy's Quest, where we go over to uh, the library. Well, you're not going I cannot to see anything. Anymore. Here we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, where we go to the library and do her quest so we can pick up the intelligence bobblehead. And then uh, I want to put... Uh, at least one point into robotics so that means we need at least three levels up and the bobblehead before we can uh, start automatron so that's the plan whether I stick to it or not is another Thing all together though but I should uh, should be okay it's kind of I'd like to get some robots yes. so we can start having some provisioners instead of using people because I have not done anything with the settlements other than the one that uh, by about getting people into them and stuff. Sanctuary is about the most populated settlement we've got right now. I've been a little lax in doing that and I apologize. But <clears throat> Sometimes things are take a little bit more time than you expect them to. So We will get there though. Alright. Um, oh, poor guy. Lost his head and everything. Let's get to the roof and kill these raiders. Alright, little raider, where did you go? So, are you... I guess you're not going to move over here, so... Nice. I've got plenty... Whoa. <laughs> nothing, 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 nothing. Oh, come on and die. Thank you. <laughs> I wasn't expecting them to be right there. <laughs> oh, well, you know, I thought they'd be up on the roof. That's okay. See anybody else here that needs taken care of? Oh yeah, that's right. They are in a fight with super moons, yeah. Oh, and another thing while I was vendoring, if you can even hear me, sorry about that. Oh goodness. What do we have going on here? Um while I was vendoring in Diamond City, I stopped at the uh bounty board and picked up a bounty for us to do and this time it was uh, uh, clearing out the super mutants in Trinity Plaza so we have that to do as well
Oh, legendary. Shoot. Alright. Well, that makes things different. Ow. Okay. Another one? Goodness. Let's see. Can we get it in there without... Nope. McCready. Well, let's see how that works out for you. Not very well. Okay, there we go. Let's see what our legendary had. A duelist. Yeah. Alright, and you, you were, excuse me, that's nice, always good to hear, actually, I might take that, I've got uh, an idea for a settlement of those, so, oh, very nice, that's a nice amount of ammo, alright, let's go get these guys over here and clear out this building apparently because the Commonwealth needs Minutemen to clean it up I suppose. Probably not McCready, probably not. As he is quite dead in the moment. Hmm. Well, maybe. Alright, where are you, gentlemen? Well, not gentlemen anymore, huh? This way, probably, huh? Mm -mm. Nope. Why do I feel like... Is this, uh... Yeah, let's go through Park Lounge. We'll leave the Super Mutants for later. Gonna be a good fight. Or not. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I'm sorry, but that, that was really funny with McCready face nice. planning there. <laughs> oh my, excuse me, McCready. Alright, so we have a... You okay, McCready? What's going on here? Looks more like a bar fight. <laughs> hmm. Well, I was running out of those cups. Glad I found some of them. And we got booze bottles. 
Very nice. Poor guy. Alright, what do we have over here? Bathrooms. Nothing in the mirror, so... I think we should be good to get out of here. We've got that way, and then we've got, uh, hmm. Let's go this way. Oh, well, at least we found the location now. That's very nice. Now, uh, let me see, where are we? Um, uh, yeah, we gotta go this way. Oh, I think I know where we're at. Yeah. Nope, no noise. Okay, good for you. I'm glad to hear that. Ouch. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Maybe he'll go after McCready. Um, I heard him. So we got... I can hear the suicider. Uh, oh, yeah, McCready, this is not going well for us. Because I can't find him. Over that way? Then let's go this way. <laughs> um, can I... We'll just leave the suicider to his whatevers <laughs> and get out of here. <laughs> Come on, McGreedy. We got places to be that don't belong or aren't uh, being blown to smithereens. Now, if I can see, where do I want to go? Um, I always, I think it's this way. I think, I think, yep, it is. Let's get this little area marked on the map. I should have rested so it was daylight when we did this. Oh, look. I think I hear the suicider again. Oh, yeah, we just kind of came right back around, didn't we? Oh, well. Um, let's go this way. Oh, I didn't want to come in right by the house. Um... Oh, and I think I went to. Oh no, there we got it. Oh, I'm probably glowing. All right. Is that the? What are you talking about? <laughs> Oh, McCready, you might need glasses. Uh, shoot. Well, there's level up number one that we need, so that's good. Sorry, Doc. Yeah, 
is that? <clears throat> Oh, no, I didn't want to sit down. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> um, there's a whole story about a guy who set up a, a bug zapper to take care of the bugs, and his wife and a Brahmin, and a locket in the bottom of the lake, and what are you doing, McCready? If... Unless you plan on getting on that terminal. I think... Uh, no. I'll wait. I'll play the tape here in a second. Let's grab that. And... Edwin's journal. Okay. Ow. Oh. should have taken there. If I remember right, if you go out in the, um, out in the lake and get the locket, then, um, a whole bunch of bugs and stuff show up. What was I looking for? Oh, Edwin's, uh, journal. Pardon me. I'm a little scattered today. Oh no. All right. Well, I'll you can pause and uh read these. If you want to know the story the story without me telling you what it is. <laughs> it's here. See what else we have here that we need. can make use of somewhere else. Um, oh, nice cap stash. That's one thing you don't see is like you go into a house and see uh, you know where a raider lives or something you would think you would see a few caps yes. laying around here or there and you never see that all right oh buff out we will take that because in medics because oh and some psycho yay that just contributed to our Overseer's Guardian Fund. Alright, Bess, I'm very sorry to hear about your woes, but, uh... Of course I'm gonna miss. Oh, got him. this part I need. I believe there is a quest in uh, Diamond City that has you look for a part of a blood bug. Or not a blood bug, but a bloat fly. The one of the... I think it's a scientist in the school there. Send you out for one. Um, probiotic or proboscis or something. I don't know. Whatever they are whatever they're uh, looking for or a gland maybe it's been a while since I've done that quest I should remember to go back over and pick it up I don't think there's much out here I think the only ones maybe here oh yeah Nuka Cola do not want to forget the Nuka Cola Alright. And I believe I should have fusion cores on me. 
Uh, do we have anything to cook up real quick? We do. I cooked up a whole bunch of uh, the uh, Mirelurk from the last episode. So we have plenty of really good healing items so we don't have to rely on our stem packs too much. And I think that's about all I've done in the last, since in between now and the last episode. So let's get in here and get access to Vault 81. <coughs> we probably will only have time to do the tour today, so, um... So much happened living right next to a vault. There's some seriously bad memories that we shouldn't forget. Why are you picking up that junk? <laughs> so you go from depressed for one second, and then yelling at me about junk in the second next. Alright, I could try and talk my way in, but I don't mind giving them the fusion core, so let's do that. Although we will try the speech check as well. Hold it right there. Vault 81 security. I don't know where you got your hands on a working pit boy, but you better start talking. What do I don't want to? I got it in Vault 111. Vault 111? Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? Just looking to do a little trading. Is that so? And you expect me to believe that? <laughs> oh, Overseer. Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am, some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Let me speak to them. Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. I'm interested. What is it you need? Fusion cores. Three, to be exact. You get the fusion cores, we grant the access. What do you need them for? I'm no engineer, but I've been told we need them to help supplement our power generators. So if the task seems trivial to you, I assure you, it's very important to us. You know, I think Vault 81 has enough problems without us adding to it, so we shall help them out. I already have the fusion cores you need, really? Yeah, you're already standing at the entrance, but that's good. Alrighty, so let's get in here. Oops. Come on, Win. My guys have been working doubles for weeks now. They need a break. Everyone's working hard right now, Cal. You think I don't know that? Just do the best with what you can. That's all I'm asking. Bye. I'll see what I can do. But you and I both know we can't keep going on like this. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient. But there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. Why do you keep yourselves so isolated? Why not? We have warm beds, clean clothes, a solid roof over our heads. Our food and water are radiation free. We don't deal with the elements or raiders. We're safe here. And for some, that safety and stability is what counts. Aren't you curious about the Commonwealth and what it has to offer? Of course. But my duty is to these people and keeping them safe. We receive a few select traders often enough to stay well informed. That's why I like to use a give and take system. If outsiders are willing to help us, we're willing to help them. Speaking of, if you're ready, I can take those fusion cores from you. How often do you end up trading with the outside? More often than you may think. A couple of times a month, I'd say. It also helps us keep up with Commonwealth news. And the fusion cores? You do have them, don't you? 
Of course. Here they are. Thanks. Dr. Penske will greatly appreciate these. Now, I have work to do. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. Don't make me regret letting you in here. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yeah, she's crabby because she got dumped by her girlfriend, so... We will leave her alone. And... Oh, Ashes. Be a good kitty. Bye, Ashes. I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> Never actually watched the cat go out. Alright, they certainly had plenty of time to grab her, though, before she got out the door. Oh, McCready. That was a little creepy. And... Alright, prepare for Austin's tour. Haley, are you really from the Commonwealth? Yes, I am. I knew it! Hey, I can show you around Baltimore, just by bucks. How did you know I was here? Grant said that I have nasty plans stuff out that I'm not supposed to. <laughs> Actually, she ain't my grand. She's just Priscilla. But she acts like my grand. And when mom and dad died, she took me in. Anyways, do you want me to show you around or not? Sure, why not? Okay. Give me the tour, Austin. Here's the caps. Yes! I gotta show you to Erin. She's gonna flip. Follow me. We'll start over here. family run it. Aaron and I are best friends. Her mom and dad fight a lot, so I don't like to go in there when they're around. But if you need something, they're the ones that have it. What do they fight about? I shouldn't tell you this, but everyone says Mr. Combs is sleeping with Tina. Mrs. Combs doesn't know, but he's always leaving her to do all the work while he hangs out with Tina. Next stop, the Overseer. I bet you feel a lot of strange things. Ooh, and Raiders. I bet you fought Raiders, too. A few. The Overseer's office is up there. They're busy up there, and they do not like to be bothered. She makes rules, but she's nice. I like her. Does she take care of people that break the rules? Security mostly takes care of people who break the rules. But she's in charge of all of the security officers. It doesn't happen very often. Next stop, the diner. Now we gotta go downstairs. That's where the diner is. Everybody eats there. Sometimes it gets real crowded. The summer sets are nice though. You'll like them. I see you're showing our guests in the Commonwealth around. Yes, ma'am. This is the Sunshine Diner. Graham says that they'll take all of her hard work and turn it into swill. Mr. and Mrs. Somerset run the diner. They're pretty nice. Mrs. Somerset's pie the best. How is their food? Other than the pies. I like it. Mrs. Somerset always sneaks me seconds. I'll save you a slice of pie, Austin. Next stop, Horatio. I told you they were nice. Do you like your hair? <laughs> I hate combing it though. Grand makes me comb it. Excellent. Austin, that hair of yours is a mole rat's nest. <laughs> this is where Horatio fixes up people's hair. 
Darren's mom comes here all the time. Brand hardly comes here at all. She makes me cut my hair, though. It's not fair. Would he do my hair? Sure. He could turn your hair into anything. I wanted him to make mine look like Skull, but Grand wouldn't let him. Next stop, it's Grand. Let's go see Grand. I live with her. She's not my real grandmother, though. My parents died when I was real little. Austin, what are you doing here? Are you bothering that stranger from the Commonwealth? I'm not bothering her. I'm helping her. Hmm. That's grand. She takes care of me. You can call her Dr. Penske. She acts all grumpy. That's not for real. Says you. She runs our hydroponics lab. It's where we get all our food. You don't get anything from the Commonwealth? Nope. Grand draws it all here. She's really smart. <laughs> Next stop, Miss Kate. Come on, hurry up. You gotta go to the other side of the ball. I'll show you where I go to school. I bet you didn't have to go to school. This is the school. Miss Katie runs it. It's boring most of the time, but Grant says I have to go anyway. Your Gran is a smart woman, Austin. Are there a lot of kids in the vault? Not that many. The overseer says that we do population control. <laughs> Next stop is the medical clinic. Let's go downstairs. I'll show you the clinic. Doc Forsyth and Rachel are okay, I guess. But I don't go there unless I have to. Or unless Grant makes me. This is our medical clinic. If you get hurt or sick, come down here. Dr. Forsyth says it can't bother him or Rachel while they're working. Did you ever get sick? Just colds and stuff. Hardly anyone here gets sick. Mr. Somerset broke his foot once, though. They put a big cast on it, and he had to walk with crutches. Now we go see Erin. She's going to be surprised when she sees you. Come on, this way. Erin and I spend a lot of time together. She didn't believe me when I said I would bring you to her. I love the little miniature pit boy on his arm. It's really cute. <laughs> Come on, Austin. Let's move it along. Stranger from the Commonwealth. Wow. You're really from the Commonwealth? Yes, I am. Whoa. Someone from the Commonwealth. That's so cool. We haven't had a visitor in a while now. Thanks for doing my tour. I was so cool to show you off to everyone. <laughs> Sam, have you seen my cat? Ash's gone? Wow, would you look at that? I think he's left the vault. I saw him run by me when I got here. Left the vault? Oh, please bring him back. Please. No one else would set foot outside for him. Hey, I'll find him for you. Thank you. His name is Ashes. He's the sweetest little gray cat. I just want him to come home. Okay, I think we should actually have time to do go get Ashes. So, oh, we got to... I need to go to the slog, too. Alright, so... What time is it? Oops. Yeah, alright. So, let's get out of here. And go get, uh... I'll have to remember to drop off that thing. Ashes for her. And then we should be good to get, uh... The Overseer's Guardian. Hopefully at the beginning of the next episode. If not, it, towards the end, middle of it after we deal with the problems here in the vault. 
because if I remember right, going out after or just leaving the vault triggers the next part of the event that goes on here. So we might as well get it done. Yes, I know, because you were too lazy to get up and run after it. So I have to do it. <clears throat> Alright, out we get. If I had timed it a little bit better, I probably could have gotten the uh, Overseer's Guardian before we even had to go get Ashes, but since it was 5 in the morning, although... Um, they were not going to be open. I think I totally missed that. That hound go. We got sure ghouls over there. We got super mutants coming. Getting us. Somebody shooting me from somewhere. Oh, come on. You can hit that. Yeah. Boy. This was killing me. Really? Get up. Or not. Oh, I want that. Alright. Your meat I want because it is good after it's cooked. What have you got? I'm um, good. Don't need a spine today. Um, I will take your ammo. And I think we are good to go grab ashes real quick. Ooh, doggy ball. Need that. Alrighty. Ashes, come on. Please be over here, Ashes. Yeah, there you are. Come on. Ashes, go home. Aaron misses you. <laughs> like that would work with the cat. Believe me, I have a cat. It does not work. She just looks at me and like I'm dumb when <laughs> I tell her to do something, <laughs> so, yeah. But who knows, maybe the Commonwealth kitties are smarter than we give them credit for. Let's see if I can do this without sitting down. Is that a sweet roll? Ew. Yuck. Alright. Isn't there a, uh... I thought there was, like, a... Yeah, over here, I think. Uh, a mine... Or not a mine, but a tripwire, yeah? Or a bomb or something? No? Maybe I'm thinking of a different one. Okay, let's go back to Vault 81 and tell them the good news. A little sent spy birds. Oh yeah, that was not a good thing to run up on. I always forgot sometimes there's a Yao Guai up there. <laughs> oh well, you know, you live and you learn. Thank goodness you didn't get a swipe on us though. <laughs> Alright guys, so let's get in there. <coughs> Oops. Get downstairs and we will... 
Okay. Oh yeah, we should probably talk to the doctor, but we will do that in the next episode. Wow, that was with the light on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was going to say, I thought my flashlight was a little brighter than that. And hopefully they should be up over here. Not in here. Oh no, don't make me have to go all the way back to the room. Alright, never mind. So down here. Uh, this way. And we do need to talk to the school teacher as well. And we need to talk to Tina DeLuca. You're welcome. I'm so glad he's safe. Ashes! Bad kid. I was so worried about you. And I bet Mom's gonna make me think you were bad. Alright guys, thank you for joining me. I've been Vault Girl. I hope to see you in the next one.